Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. Now last time we spoke to McIntyre from Interstellar Affairs and she sent us to see two ambassadors. Ambassador Radcliffe of the Free Star Collective and uh, Ambassador Balmore from the Varun Embassy. So we started off with Ambassador Radcliffe and um, we tried to convince her to help but she couldn't be persuaded so we had to resort to a little bit of blackmail so to speak because we overheard a conversation where she basically said uh, let's kill one of the council members so that I can get on the council not good so we got her code we then came to the Varun embassy which is in an absolute shambles might I add um, and we had to fight our way down through like, plants and robots and stuff like that to get to Ambassador Balmore uh, and he spoke to us a little bit and then he gave us his code. So, we've got the codes, we're good to go, let's get into it. Joop. Ah ha ha. Alright. Okay. Anything else here? No. I don't know where he's just gone, actually. We will... Oh, hello. Can I, can I, can I dispose? Let's just, 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 just. Nobody will know. I didn't do anything. Nothing at all. Just mooching about in here. Okay. Antique videotape? Why would they have an antique? Don't, 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 don't ask you. Just don't ask. Um, I think we've looted everything else, didn't we? What's this? Ooh, hello. My God, log one, arrival. Whoa, jeez Louise. Yesterday marked the beginning of my tenure as House Varun's ambassador in the United Colonies. I arrived full of hope, believing our gesture of opening this new embassy would demonstrate that we have moved beyond our blood-stained past. But we had barely been in a new Atlantis an hour when the troubles ahead of me began to reveal themselves. Our brief walk from the spaceport to the embassy was marked by suspicious glances and sneers of numerous strangers on the street. I fear minds here will not be easily changed. The wrongdoing of House Varun will not be so easily forgotten. It is my fervent wish that this embassy will become seen will come to be seen, sorry, as an emblem of a peaceful future, free of the stains of prejudice and violence. I will do my utmost to act as an avatar for that goal, regardless of any resistance I may face. Though I find myself in a strange land, I know the Great Serpent will guide us to success in our endeavour. All right. My God, protests. All right. Log two protests. This morning, I was roused from contemplative prayer by the sound of muffled shouting. Upon investigation, I discovered a sizable group of United Colony citizens engaged in a protest on my doorstep. They are opposed to their government attempts to establish diplomatic ties with House Varun and are petitioning for the immediate shuttering of the embassy. My attempts to engage with them in, in discussion were fruitless. Most would not speak with me and those who did refused to believe that our intentions in New Atlantis were purely peaceful. The embassy guards were eventually required to intervene, forcing me back into the building when the crowd's anger began to manifest as threats to my well-being. I intend to discuss this matter with my counterparts in the United Colonies. Their aid will be essential if this effort is to succeed, though I fear this will not be an isolated incident. Oh dear. Log 3. A visitor. Each day my frustration grows. Great serpent, what have I done to merit such scorn? Recently, Sia Mavan arrived at my embassy to receive a visit from such a high-ranking priestess, a gravid no less, with the intention of engaging in talks with the United Colonies. I was overjoyed. Such a gesture from the house could only mean those sceptical of our efforts could at long last see merit in our work. But it seems I was deceived. See, as stated mission and her actual intentions are clearly at odds, she has refused every opportunity to engage with representatives from the United Colonies. Instead, she speaks incessantly about the need to surveil the very diplomats whose trust I have dedicated months of effort to gaining. She remains trapped in our old mindset, unable to see what it is that we are actually doing here, guaranteeing House Varun's future. The losses from the Serpent's Crusade were incalculable. Diplomacy is the only method through which House Varun's survival may be assured. I must find a way to make Sia see this. Luckily, I believe tonight's dinner will be the perfect opportunity. Our UC host, Deputy Diplomat Roland, is level-headed, reasonable, I dare say even sympathetic. A rare animal among the UC, if prior experience is anything to be an indicator. Is to be any indicator, sorry. If Sia approaches him with open arms, I have faith that he would embrace her as a comrade. Great Serpent, let this come to pass. Log 4, then. Uh, dinner, excuse me. 
Great serpent, is this a test of my faith? Do you truly wish to plumb the depths of my loyalty? What other explanation could merit why you would permit such a spectacular disaster? Dinner at Deputy Rowland's was initially promising, even congenial. Yes, there were pointed questions about House Varun's intentions, but overall an air of polite decorum was maintained. But it was one of Rowland's more boisterous guests, an officer of some type, perhaps having enjoyed one too many glasses of Chandra, asked, But how can we trust you snakes after what you did? That, I believe, the gravid reached her breaking point. They were only words, but words are the battlefield on which diplomacy is fought, and I realised too late that this was a salvo Sia would not let pass. At dessert, as dessert was served, Sia excused herself. We waited for her return, and waited, and waited. When it came clear that the gravid had simply left, I made my pleasantries and rushed back to the embassy. There I found her packing her things. When I asked where she was going, she simply stated, I have seen all I need to, and she left without another word. I reached out to my contacts back in da Dazra, who have assured me that they still believe in the venture, that Jarek Varun himself still believes, and that is all the reassurance I require. Hmm. Okay. Log 5. A test of faith. The last of my staff had left today, our embassy now effectively shuttered. House Varun's leaders have ceased all communications with the United Colonies. Our own orders from Dazra were not much better, standing in a single word, return. No other reason mentioned for our abandonment of our post for the abandonment of our cause. But I know a test of faith when I see one. I serve House Varun. A simple understanding of that directive would be that I followed their orders. But what we do here is greater than that. If we are to survive, it, it cannot be on our own. If others refuse to see that, so be it. So here I stand, waiting for the day they all see the truth and come back. Mm. Silence. Log 6. Silence. There has been no word from my people in months. I have made several attempts at contacting them, but I'm uncertain if my messages are reaching Dazra at all. As such, I have had time to think. Why allow us to come here, make a home for ourselves around a distant star, only to demand our return when the first bit of resistance is met? Because of some drunken slight, even Sia is not that influential amongst the court. No, there is something larger at play here. The recall of the staff. It wasn't because of the incident with the Gravid. A change has occurred. Yet by staying, I now may never know what it is. Only time will tell. Mm. Log 7. Spies. It seems it's been quite some time since my last entry. A welcome bit of exercise today. A United Colony spy snuck inside the embassy. Just before dawn, as I finished my morning prayers, I heard an odd thrum. At first, I presumed my hearing was finally giving out, but then I realised what it was. It was the elevator descending. Presuming uninvited guests could mean only bad things, I snuck upstairs and hid among the branches of the venom tree. I watched like a gargoyle perched on a parapet as the young man stalked cautiously through the branches of the tree I'd spent so much time cultivating, obviously scared beyond his wits. At one point, an errant branch snapped as he passed, and I swear the boy leapt a foot into the air before realising its source benign. I was shocked that the mere idea of House Varun could still garner such fear, even this long after the end of the Serpent's Crusade. It would have been amusing if I wasn't it would have been amusing if it wasn't such a clear reminder of the failure of my own endeavour. We evaded each other like this for the better part of two hours. It was a welcome distraction from a life now steeped in routine. He eventually gave up, returned to the elevator, and I to my meditation. As I think on it, now, however, the purpose of the visit is exceedingly disappointing. This was no diplomat, no neighbourly knock on the door. This was a spy, someone breaking into somewhere a normal soul couldn't. They think me dead, don't they? Mm. Log 8, a surprising message. It happened! The message was short, a simple request for information regarding the state of things in New Atlantis, but filled me with relief nonetheless. House Faroon has contacted me at last. I had been forced to harden my heart to the possibility that I may never hear from my people again. Today's message assuaged that fear. Though their intentions remain unclear, I am comforted by House Varun's willingness to re-engage in communication. I am hopeful that it signifies Darza's willingness to return to more honest attempts at diplomacy with the United Colonies. Great Serpent, you answer my prayers at last. I stand firm in my belief that it will be at my side as I continue to serve House Varun's interests in New Atlantis. May his celestial light bathe my people and those who and those we once stood against and help to usher in an era of harmony at last. 
That's interesting. The state of things in New Atlantis. I wonder when that came in. Did it come in maybe around the time of the attack? Is House Varun maybe responsible? I don't like to think the worst of things, but you know. And Andrage is a good egg. Not all bad. Okay, um, anything else in here that we can have a look at? Hmm. Anything in your fridge, dude? You got some juice? Yeah. It's a boom pop. Boom pop. Um, all right, well. I guess, um, I guess we'll leave you to it, dude. So now we just need to return to McIntyre. We'll be back, dude. Okay, so how do we get out of here? This way? Yes, I am kind of curious with the guards' house for you now. It's interesting that they asked, how are things in New Atlantis? Did they ask it when the attack happened? Because mm. somebody's definitely behind this, aren't they? Somebody is definitely behind this, because... As I said last time, these things don't look like they can fly themselves. They don't look like they have their own ships, so... Saturn's off. Saturn is off, ma'am. Mm. Very curious indeed. Well, we'll find out, I suppose. And apparently we need to pop into uh, the SSN, I think it's called. SSN. The news place, anyway. Because one of my lovely commenters, Andrew Wynton, told me that they pay you for news stories and they might pay for the um, the story about the horrible Terramorph attack here and how we did them in. Well, how Andrade did them in. I can't lie. <laughs> All right. Cabinet Chambers. Let's get up there. Where are we going next? You see? Uh, oh, she's over here. Okay. Madame. Hello. Captain. Yes. You're back sooner than... Oh, oh wait. Did, did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe and Balmore. We're all in agreement. All right. Code pieces from House Varun and Freestar collected and ready to be deployed. Yeah. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure Radcliffe would ever get on board. Well... I'm very much mm -hmm. looking forward to getting the debrief on how precisely you managed to pull all this off, but that'll have to wait for another time. Good, because we've got stuff to do, man. Superlative work, Captain. And now... I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. Good. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. All right. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. All right. Absolute best behavior down there. All right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. One thing we are going to do before we go down there. Howdy. Is we're going to try and get ourselves some more, um, some more digipics because I need digipics. Oops. Um. Yes. Haha. -ha. Captain, can I help you? You cannot. I will go and do my shopping, and then we will come back. All right, here we go, into the Armistice Archives. Hopefully everything will be okay in here. Have we... Mm. Andre... Come on, Andreja. I'm going to have you carry some things, my dear. Just hold on a minute. Bop. It is pleasing to speak with you. It's pleasing to speak with you, my dear. If there's anything you need, I am happy to share. We will speak again soon, I hope. We will. Right. Okay, let's get in. Clear. Get down here. All right. Okay. Well, all right. So do we go in either or? So that's, what's that, UC and that's Freestar? Well, I suppose those were with the UC. Can we go in? 
right? Holy! Let's open both these. Why not? This is a little bit weird, isn't it? Can we go in here? Hello. Here. Wow, this place is this place is kind of a mess, isn't it? Captain, we've been expecting you. Where are you? Oh, you there. All right, let me just take a little peep round here, girl. So who? Hmm. Is it through here? No, that's locked. Okay. Um, anything else? No. All right. Welcome, Captain, to the archives. To Hello. Proceed, you will need to deposit your code into the three corresponding receptacles. All right. Once they are verified, I will open the door. Your data resides in Unit 18. You will not be able to access any of the other units. That's fine. Once you've collected your data, return to the entrance. All right. You may insert the first of the archival codes when you're ready to begin. All right. So this one is... One, okay. Um, two. And three. Okay, that was loud. Alright. Ah, so that was Varun, because it's unmanned and it's a mess. Because obviously there's nobody in there. That was UC and that was Freestar. Alright, um, okay. Okay. Um, how, uh, this one? Hmm. Okay. Nothing else? No? Should we shut the door? There you go. My god. Alright, um, alright. Thank you. Um, for your, for your time. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. Huh. I thought there'd be a little bit more in there, to be honest, for us to have a look at, but never mind. Whatever. Whatever. All right, let's take a look at this. Can we, can we, can we read it? Can we do anything with it? Would it be new? Aha. Oh. Well, all right. Thought it might be, I don't know. Maybe something a little bit more that we could do with it. But never mind, that's fine. Not a problem, not a problem. So now we're assumedly going back to the uh, mast building here, yes. I assume. There you are. Yes, here I am. Captain. Hello. Surprised to find out we're having visitors as we work. Are we? Yes. Mr. Sanan and I were just discussing the merits of your planned interfactional cooperation. And I think it's a great idea. Get them invested in the solution. Make it clear we've got nothing to hide. Yeah. I'm sure there'll be lovely house guests. Now, Captain, if you wouldn't mind transferring the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing next steps. Uh, all right. Here you Time go. for us to start getting some real answers and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. Mm. So whenever you're ready. Take it, man. Take it. Um. Yeah, I made someone a promise, Hadrian. Can you assure me this data will be used for good? Yeah. I... Yes. It will be. Good. Percival and I have done our damage. This, this is us starting to put some things right. Plus, right. you don't need her word. We'll be setting up oversight alongside the collective. I'll have to, I'll have to ask these questions, you know. Um, is the answer to stopping more attacks really in here, do you think? You're carrying the most comprehensive collection of information on Terramorphs in the known universe. If we can't pry an answer out of there, it likely doesn't exist. Oh. Certainly doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but we're not going to know until Percival and I dig in, so whenever you're ready. All right, well, take it. Acknowledged and accepted, Captain. Jolly good. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. Mm -hmm. 
The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. All right. Should even be able to house its own cadre of independent observers. Okay. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Oh. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll find Sure. Me. Do all right. I mean, I'm not really that fussed about it, to be honest, but all right. Oh, I hate these kind of follow quests. Because <laughs> it's always too slow, look. Hmm. Tell you what, whenever you're ready. Give me a holler. Oh, there goes... There goes Hadrian. She's Good off. Thing, wow, the first pleasant UC guard I've ever met. Alright, so... There's nobody here. Where are we going? What are we doing? Where are we going? Oh. Alright, what's this? A roof? Oh, okay, this is a little bit weird, but alright. So... Wow. Wow! Let me just... Oh! Nearly fell off the edge. Look at this, though, man! Wow. There's a spaceport. Where's the lodge? The lodge is probably down here somewhere, isn't it? But look at that! Ooh. Structure. Hmm. What's that? Unknown. What does your scanner reveal? A lot of structures and unknowns around us, Andreja. All right, let's 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 talk about our citizenship then. All right, Captain, are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Uh, okay. Yeah. Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Whoa, Captain! Through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Uh, yeah, sure. And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Cool! Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelian Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Oh? Now, right. the other item we needed to discuss. By a house, There's me and Andrea. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Oh, I. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. All right. And they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. Oh, wow. Okay. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Um. Sure. Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. Oh. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. Cool. All right. Oh, look at that. Creds as well. Well, look at this. It's so amazing. Can we, can we? Just, just out of sheer... Sheer curiosity. Look at this. All oh, right, on it. Whoa. Holy guacamole. Huh. Doesn't really render much beyond a certain point, does it? But that's fine. Oh, Andreja. Oh, okay. All right. Let's, yep, yep. All right, Andreja. Let's 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 go and meet this person who we're supposed to meet. Uh, oof. Okay. Subsection 7. Okay. I love it. Let's go. A lot of computer expertise in your file along with smiley faces. UC security doesn't appreciate being hacked, okay? I... Whatever. Uh, okay. Sorry, I keep doing that turn the scanner on. Silly. I think it's because I've been playing a lot of cyberpunk. 
And I keep thinking I have to scan things. When I don't. I know I don't. It's in here. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Okay. Hello. Hello. Whoa. Are we at all surprised that the UC has such a massive space dedicated to secrets? Andrea, you scared the life out of Miguel. Um. Oh no, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that, Eve! Don't do that! Oh, my God! I don't think there's anything in there of any material, material repository. Material. I, I, no words. Huh, okay. Hello? Oh, we need to go through there, do we? Well, let's just take a little peep. Okay, these are all locked. Is there anything in them, though, that's of, like, use or interest? I am kind of curious, though. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's inaccessible. We can't go in there. Okay. Do you know, maybe we'd, maybe we'd better stop trying to nick stuff. <laughs> Constantly on the rob. Constantly on the rob. That's my um, that's my problem. Ah. Okay. There we are. Hmm. Well. Yes, my um, my urge to pick locks is unbelievable. It's like uh, one of one of my quite regular commenters, rambling with Rusty Elm, said, "My friend Evie, who never found a lock she couldn't resist picking, and it's absolutely true. I am shocking when it comes to this, and I don't know why I enjoy it so much." All right, let's. Um... Oh, you're in there. Well, you you just chill, Andreja. I didn't know he was in here. Didn't see you there, dude. Sneaky. All right. I'll see you in a bit, Andreja. You take a pew, love. We'll um. We'll meet up in a minute. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I had to sneeze. All right, um, all right, who's in here? Can we have a look in here? Can we peep? Hello? Ooh. See what I mean? I can't resist. I can't help myself. Can't help myself. I want the stuff and nothing else. I do. All right, let's come down. Who are you? Who's in here? What's in here? Hello? Can we go in? No. All right. Uh, what's all this? I'll be over in a minute, dude. I'm just, 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 just peeping around in here. I like to have a good view of everything, you know? Okay. So, who are you? So that, should I sit down? Alright. President Abeo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. Mm -hmm. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? Um, I have a feeling who this is. I think it starts with a V. Mm. Perceptive. I like that. Mm. I'm Francois Fanon. Yep. But most know me as the Victus. What an absolutely. An during the colony war. There you go. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes. But the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here, a sacrifice on the altar of peace. All right. Even my death served the colonies. 
Hmm. Hmm. Definitely one of the chattier ghosts I've met, except about what you actually want. Hmm. So the UC faked your death then. One final act of rebellion by the leadership that lost the colony war. The trial was authentic. I faced tribunal with dignity. But my execution staged. Oh. A lethal injection that was anything but. The cabinet at the time, long hmm. gone now, wished to keep me on as an advisor. And considering the other option, I was in no place to refuse. True. So I elected to trade my freedom for my continued existence. But such is the life of a soldier. Hmm, okay, well... Hmm, so what did you do? Yeah, go on. To warrant my execution. The official charges I faced after the war were twofold. The first was the destruction of civilian ships during the Battle of Cheyenne, a battle during which those civilian ships were actively attacking my fleet. The other was ordering the bombing of the Londinian spaceport to halt the spread of the Terramorph outbreak there. Hmm. The city and its citizens were lost, but countless others likely saved. And for doing what was right, I was put on trial. And my life irrevocably changed. Okay, so, hmm. Well, yeah, you've not really said what you want, so say what you want. Go for it. I want to help you and my progeny, Hadrian, prevent more attacks. Though I am curious, has she shared with you the nature of our little family? Um, yes, yeah, she's told me she's your clone. Don't go on, I'm listening. After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams. Okay. Helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. Right. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. Okay, what, 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 what's this? Hmm. Go on. There is a former colleague of mine. A man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlaise. Mm. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies' more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. Oh. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. Oh, God. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. Oh. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him. However you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. <sighs> hmm. How do I know you're not asking me to kill an innocent man, yeah? Speak to Deputy McIntyre. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that someone might be tying up this loose end at long last. I see. Though I would ask you, do 
not make the mistake of confusing me for a simple cutthroat. Alright. Um, how about I arrest him? Turn him over to the UC, yeah. You can certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Ha! Huh. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. Hmm. I'm not killing anyone, but if he's actually as bad as you claim, I'll consider bringing him to justice. I mean, the last time we tried, well... Oh, screw it. Consider him dust. Doesn't matter. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Ooh, wolf Office system. Hell yeah. Star station in the vicinity. The den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. Well, we need to go to the wolf system anyway. So, that works out quite well. So now we need to go and speak to... Um, what's in here? Meh. Let's just, just, just go. Just go, just go. Just get out, Eve. Just go. Well, thank God. So, Andrej, we got to go kill somebody. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. Well. Hmm. Can we go to any other subsections? No. Should we go and speak to her about this this dude? Let's go and find out. What what's this dude's deal? And then we'll head over to the wolf system. And um well, we'll hit the den first, sell off some stuff. See if we can get some more digipix there because we are very low on them unfortunately, which is kind of irritating, but never mind. All right. Hi um McIntyre. Captain, did your uh, meeting go well? Yes. I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Hidden war criminal, yeah. Um, <sighs> Deputy, I was not prepared for that. I was, to be honest. I had a feeling. Um, yeah, that'll do. Surprised me too when I learned it. But the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years. Well, good. And kept far from any major decision-making. There you go. But I do think it's worth re-emphasizing. No one else can know about this. All right? Fine, fine. Good God. Um, okay. Yeah, why hasn't Hadrian been told about this? Come on now. The Major doesn't have clearance for this sort of information. And she certainly doesn't need a distraction from her current very important work. Mm, true. Which is why I need you to keep this to yourself. Okay, fine. Jeez Louise. Good. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. Uh. And that's not a good look for any of us. Now, was there something in particular you needed to discuss about what we were just discussing? Don't you sass with me, madam. Threatening behavior. I don't appreciate that. Okay, um... Okay, the prisoner asked me to deal with a Dr. Orlais. Figured you and I should discuss. Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Apparently. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice, he's been on the lam for years. All right. That'd be a huge win for the UC. Well, what's being offered in return? The information we need. Really? He found the members of the research team. Yep. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. I mean, now, I'll try. Is there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? Um... No, I'm then out. I'll you good day, Captain. And remind you of the importance of discretion. Hmm... I'll remind you of the importance of this weapon. Yes. Don't sass with me, madam. I am not a woman to be toyed with. Let's go, Andreja. Okay. Well, this is this is a lot to sort of think about, really. I mean, I'm not surprised that Vey Victus is alive. Let's just be real. I'm not. I'm not surprised at all. Because his name wouldn't have been mentioned otherwise. I don't know. Something's going on anyway. But 
It's still the suspicion with regard to these these terramorphs. Who has called them up? Well, not called them up. Who has transported them to New Atlantis for one? You know, who could have done it? Who? Anyway, we'll uh, we'll head on down to the old frontier and wend our way over to the wolf system, I believe. We'll go and visit the den, get rid of some stuff, and then um, be uh, be on our merry way to find this gentleman. Hopefully, we could try and bring him in alive. I mean. Come on now, everybody. Come on now. This poor soul. Good God. I'd move him myself if I could. But I can't, unfortunately. Ah! Oh, so annoying. Never mind. Oh. And we are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will... Oops, sorry. Next time we will head to the den and... Um, sell off a few bits, get a few bits, and find out more about this doctor that we have to... Bring in. I'm going to try and bring him in alive, if I can. If I can. Because I think that would be the better option. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>